Good morning, Paul here, and uh, we're sitting down on the boardwalk here near our home. It's, it's a pathway through to the beach, and this morning we're bringing you a meditation from Psalm number 10 from the NIV. It's a psalm about a, a cry of the oppressed. From verse 1, let's go. Why, Lord, do you stand far off? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? In his arrogance, the wicked man hunts down the weak who are caught in the schemes he devises. He boasts about the cravings of his heart. He blesses the greedy and reviles the Lord. In his pride, the wicked man does not seek him. In all his thoughts, there is no room for God. His ways are always prosperous. Your laws are rejected by him. He sneers at all his enemies. He says to himself, nothing will ever shake me. He swears no one will ever do me harm. His mouth is full of lies and threats. Trouble and evil are under his tongue. He lies in wait near the villages. From ambush he murders the innocent. His eyes watch in secret for his victims. Like a lion in cover, he lies in wait. He lies in wait to catch the helpless. He catches the helpless and drags them off in his net. His victims are crushed. They collapse. They fall under his strength. He says to himself, God will never notice. He covers his face and never sees. Sounds like Satan to me, doesn't it? It's a rather the master of lies himself. Verse 12. Arise, Lord, lift up your hand, O God. Do not forget the helpless. Why does the wicked man revile God? Why does he say to himself, he won't call me to account? But you, God, see the trouble of the afflicted. You consider their grief and take it in hand. The victims commit themselves to you. You are the helper of the fatherless. Break the arm of the wicked. Call the evildoer to account for his wickedness that would not otherwise be found out. The Lord is king forever and ever. The nations will perish from this land. You, Lord, hear the desires of the afflicted. You encourage them and you listen to their cry defending the fatherless and the oppressed so that mere earthly mortals will never again strike terror. So there's an interesting psalm, a song of David, a cry of the oppressed, pointing out that the Lord hears the desires of the afflicted and encourages them. He listens to their cry. And he is king forever and ever. There you are, a little meditation from Psalm number 10. It's good to read the Psalms. You can hear the heart of God and you can also hear the heart of David as he writes them and sings them to the Lord. You read the Psalms for yourself. Get into the Word and may the Word get into you. See you later. Have a great day.